Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be on the new Fenty Beauty foundation and I also picked up the Kilowatt highlighter and this one is in the color Mean Money and Hustla Baby. So I'm going to be trying out these two products today. But before I get started, I am going to tell you a little bit about the foundation. Today I'm going to do it a little bit different too. Today I'm going to try one side with the primer and one side without it because then you never know until I do like another separate video. You don't know how it will look later on with a primer. So I do want to tell you just what it says on the Sephora website. The box doesn't say much besides medium to full coverage for all, long wear, and light as air. So that's all it says and it is a soft matte finish. But the website says finally the ultimate photo filler in, for in foundation form. They have 40 shades and I did see them all at Sephora because they do have them at Sephora. But it says that it gives the skin an instantly smooth pore diffused which is why I want to try it like with and without the primer uh, shine free finish that easily builds to medium to full coverage the oil free formula is made to climate adapt so it will resist against sweat and humidity and won't clog pores so that wherever you are it's going to work on your skin best of all this long wearing light as air texture is undetectable on the skin so you always look like you Okay, so like I said, she has 40 different shades, which is which is a lot of foundation colors, which can be a very, very good thing because, you know, you will most likely find your shade, but it is kind of hard to find your shade. So on the website, it doesn't say it anywhere else, only on the website, it says that if you're trying to choose between two shades whenever you're looking at them, to go with the lightest foundation shade. And if you're gonna swatch them, like say on your hand to kind of match it with your face, let it dry first before you choose one of the foundations. I got it in the color 210. I feel like that one was the one mostly close like the closest one to my shade and I did buy it in stores I did swatch them on my hand and I was kind of like not sure and I had makeup on so it was a little harder for me so hopefully the shade is good um first I'm gonna start with my primer like I said I'm gonna apply it on one side of my face and oh I didn't tell you but it's for sensitive skin normal skin dry skin combination skin and oily skin so pretty much for everybody I thought I had read somewhere that it was for photos but I think I read photo filter or whatever but either way we're gonna do the with and without flash test too so that way you can see how it looks I do already have my eyeshadow on I'm actually filming a tutorial on this eye look so if you want to see that I'll have that video soon so okay I'm gonna use the Lancome La Base Pro Primer and I'm only gonna apply it on one side I did already apply a correcting concealer underneath my eyes so I'm not gonna apply the primer too close to my under eyes So it says to shake it very well before you use it, so I'm going to shake it. Okay, for full coverage, it says to use the brush that they have that's part of their line. And it says for medium coverage, use a damp sponge, which they do have the damp sponge, but I don't I don't have those two tools. I'm just going to be using the tools that I always use, which is the Beauty Blender, the Real Techniques Buffing Brush. And I want to see the medium coverage first. Like really liquidy, you see? Let's try it. I'm just gonna use the beauty blender to pick it up. Let me get you closer. Okay, definitely see that I did get a good color for me. Yep, it's like the perfect color for my skin. And I have redness around my nose before I cover that up. I'm gonna see, I have it on this side too. Before I cover it up, I wanna show you. And I also have redness on my forehead, so keep that in mind. So that way you can take a look at how much it covers. Just little dots. Let's go over the whole nose. Yeah, it did. It did cover it up. And this is like a very thin layer of the foundation. It's like not a lot at all. It's like my perfect shade. My husband helped me pick it, pick it out because I could not decide which one to get. So there we have the medium coverage. I mean, I like the way that it looks. I don't feel like I need the full coverage like to add another layer on there. But I am going to try it anyways on this side with the brush so we can see the difference. So I'm going to get a little bit. I'm going to apply it with my finger. It says for full coverage, put one pump on the back of your hand or two. 
I'm guessing just so you can have more product. So there you can see the pink, the redness. It looks like it's less coverage with the brush, but then again, this is like my brush, so maybe with their brush it would be different. I'm still gonna keep trying because I feel like it looks a lot lighter, which is not bad because if you don't want a full full coverage or if you want more like a natural coverage, then you can just use a brush for that. Yeah, with this buffing brush, I feel like it gives me a very light coverage and it is very lightweight and I don't feel it on my face. Yeah, it's not a good idea to swipe it because you can see the streaks. So if you do do that, just go over it like that with your brush. So there we have the brush side and the beauty blender side. The beauty blender side has a lot more coverage to me, but they both look nice. Like this one is very like light. Like it's a lot lighter coverage than this side, but it really did even out my skin tone. Like I'm surprised. Like, I haven't even applied it on my neck at all and it does match me really good. So I am gonna do that though, just to, just to drag it down a little bit. But look, it's my exact skin tone. Again, I got it in the color 210. I have the list of different brands of foundations. I'm gonna list them below so that way you can see the shades that I typically use um, and the brands that I use. So that way you can use that for reference, but this is my perfect skin color. Okay, so I am gonna build it up a little bit so we can see a full coverage finish. And I'm just gonna use the Beauty Blender for both sides. Oh yeah, it is giving me more coverage. Can you see that? And since I do have redness and my skin is dry, um, I did see that it has dimethicone for the second ingredient and that helps with dryness and like irritation or like itchiness whenever you have dry skin. So it's a very good thing for me. And it also has talc, so that's an absorbent if you have oily skin. I'm gonna need another pump. It does get absorbed into the beauty blender a bit, so if you use a beauty blender, just know. Uh, you see how it's giving me like a fuller coverage. You can see the difference from here and then up there. Let me cover that up. It gives you a full, full, like, flawless finish. And now that it's drying, look at the difference. This one's, like, really shiny. But over here, it's already drying up. It looks a little more matte. And it is, like, a soft matte. It's not a... It, at least not yet. It doesn't look like a completely dry, dry matte. Gave me like a very nice, even finish. Look at that. Look at my neck, look at the difference. Like it's already drying and it's still my shade. So that's good news because they did say, choose the lighter option. I, have another, I had another one uh, swatched on my hand that was a little darker and I was thinking about getting that one, but I'm glad that I didn't. Okay, so I just applied it because I am gonna do a wear test and it's exactly 11 o'clock in the morning. So I'm gonna do the wear test and I'm gonna finish off the rest of my makeup. If you wanna know what I do to the rest of it, like I said, I'm gonna have a makeup tutorial on this entire look. And then I'm gonna come back before I apply the highlighter though, so that way we can see the way that the highlighter shows up because I'm excited for it. I, I swatched it and this one it just it looked the prettiest. I, it was like the best shade for me. I was gonna pick another one that had like a yellow undertone, but I felt like it was gonna be too gold. So I went with this one and yeah so i'll be back whenever i'm gonna apply the highlighter now i'm gonna try out the highlighter and i'm super excited to see how it looks on my face like i said i did swatch all of them that they had and this one was the one that i liked the most i think it fits most i think if it's i think it fits more with my skin tone and also with like a different look since it's very just you know just a shimmery champagne color for highlighting and just to show you I think I'm gonna use this one first just a little bit and then apply this one on top of that so that way we can see the effect on both as for the foundation I did not want to set it at all with powder like I like the finish of it it's a soft matte 
and it dried down really nicely so instead of putting powder blush and powder contour and all of that I did a cream so I did a cream blush with my pixie blush and then I did the cream contouring just with my Kat Von D shade and light palette so just so you know I did not set it at all I didn't want to like mess with the foundation I mean I kind of want to see how it looks but I really like the finish it just looks nice so I'm gonna test it out like that I'm gonna use my real techniques brush and it is clean it doesn't have any other highlighter on it and the first one that I'm gonna try is mean money and it looks like it just has a little bit of shimmer on there okay you can kind of see it right I guess it's like a very natural type of highlighter I'll apply a little bit more okay this looks nice it's like an everyday type of highlight it's a nice you know every day if you wear makeup to work and you want a little highlight this is what you want to use like this side but not today today i want to try out the actual highlighter um the shimmery one so i'm gonna try out hustla baby cute names cute names let's see this one this one swatched so pretty on the back of my hand so i'm excited to see how it looks on my cheeks oh yeah yes this one looks nice and it's not crumbly. I like that. Look, it looks like if it was like a wet highlighter. Okay, I don't have any highlighters like this. Like, I barely started buying highlighters. I'm gonna apply just a little bit more up here. Yeah, wow. This looks nice. Looks like a wet highlighter. I'm so excited to use a highlighter like this. I mean, I sound like a newbie, but that's because I am. At least with highlighters, I am. Um, I don't have any highlighters that do this. Look. Have you ever wanted to try one of those wet looking highlighters and you're like nope i haven't found one i've tried a lot of them try this one swatch it swatch it at the store they have a display with all of them out um like every other brand and you'll be able to see you'll be able to see it so i do like that side better than the other one but the other one just because it's very like everyday ish and i've never ever had a highlight that looks like the wet look that's a thing right so I'm just going to apply it up here. Yeah, and it's doing the same thing. You see how that looks? I'm going to apply a little bit right here. Just very lightly so it doesn't look too shiny. Because this is a powder, like I said, I didn't set the foundation. And I didn't even apply concealer on the inner part of my forehead. I didn't want to interrupt the foundation. I want to see how it wears. So that's why I only put concealer underneath my eyes to brighten a little bit more. Let me apply it right here. Oh, it looks cute. Yeah, that looks cute. Since I'm wearing this off the shoulder top, I'm gonna apply it right here too. So that way we can just use it everywhere, see how it looks everywhere. Ooh, this makes me happy because I have a lot of uh, I just got a lot of off the shoulder tops and this looks nice and like I said it's not like chunky glitters let me apply some here let's just apply this stuff everywhere yay look it looks like I have natural natural glow can I just apply it everywhere? Does highlighter go everywhere? No? Okay, I'll stop. Okay, so I have my lipstick on and now I'm back. So I did also end up applying the highlighter on the brow bone area because I had left it blank. I wanted to use the highlighter for that. So I hope you can see it there. Um, but this is the way that the highlighter looks like I'm really happy with it like I said I hadn't used a highlighter that looks like this so I am gonna come back later on and check in for the foundation and of course you'll see the highlighter but I want to try the foundation out for a few hours before just telling you that I like it like I said I did not set it with any powders the blush was a cream the contour was a cream the only thing that was a powder was the 
uh, highlighter but I mean it's part of the brand so uh, this is the way that it looks right now with flash and without flash side by side so you can see it fresh on my face and just how it looks the time that I finished applying the actual foundation was at 11 so I will be back in a bit but before I come back I just want to give you a close-up just a little closer so you can see the foundation and I really like the finish of it, which is why I decided on not setting it and just using cream to pour everything. So this is the way that it looks. This is the way that it looks on the side of my nose. It covered up the redness. It covered up the redness on my forehead and everywhere else. Um, but you saw that earlier whenever I was applying it. I just want to give you a close-up with the makeup on so that way you can see it with more products on top. I'm back to show you the wear of the foundation. It's 8.05 show you the time it's been nine hours now since i applied the foundation and it's the end of the day like i'm about to take off my makeup but i want to show you how it looks i have all the highlight going on you can see it definitely it's it's a little mixed in with my face oils though um that's for sure i did notice that it started getting shiny and it is very shiny on my nose and it is oily like i can i can see it but the coverage is still really nice like it's there nothing faded away and the rest of my makeup did last like it's still on there especially the highlight like the highlight came through like it's a really really nice highlight it still looks exactly the same as whenever i first applied it like it's showing up so much on camera like it's crazy i didn't see anywhere if it said a certain amount of hours that it's supposed to last or anything like that so i'm just gonna go and base my opinion off of like what it claims which is that it's air light I think that it is I think that it feels really light on my skin and I feel like from the very beginning when I first applied it it didn't look like I was wearing like I was applying so much but it was still giving me a lot of coverage so I do feel like it is that air light and I do feel like it's a soft matte because even though it was matte I could still see just a little bit of like a little glow it wasn't completely matte on my face um so I think that it lasts pretty good like it's nine hours that's pretty normal for people to wear their foundation and I just think that it looks really nice all of my makeup is still there which is also important because you don't want to start at the beginning of the day with you know full face of makeup looking all good and then later on it's all faded away especially like blush highlight those are things that go really fast but yeah so I would say that I I'm happy with it like it looks nice it didn't change color on me either so that's good some of them over time they change colors throughout the day or even like a few hours later and no it still looks exactly the same like it, it matches me it matches my skin tone I was very very happy with the shade that I got now as for me I do like the foundation but that's why I like to show you how I applied it like the way that it looks with my bare skin and then once I'm applying it so you can see it in action and you can see what you think base your opinion off of what you're seeing and that's why I also like to show you like a with and without flash so you know what you want the foundation for you know what you're looking for and I hope that what I show you kind of helps you with that because to me like I like the foundation I think it's nice I think it's lightweight and I think that it just it did a good job with the coverage and everything and you can also build it up I did like the way that it looked when it was just the medium coverage but I also liked the full coverage look of it hopefully it helps you decide if you like the foundation or not like I said there's a lot of shades and just make sure that you're picking the right one if you're buying online if you're gonna take a guess I would just do what Sephora recommends which is go with the lighter shade that you think that you are and I did notice from the shot that I showed you of the foundation being wet and it being dry it did it dry down to a slightly different tone so keep that in mind oh and here I also wanted to show you the side by side of the way that it looked as soon as I applied it and the way that it looks now just so you can see the difference uh, between nine hours and that is it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys in my next one bye